Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about the quant industry, but we're going to talk about it in the perspective of comparing it to gladiators. So I know this is a little different and a little weird, but I think the analogy will help you understand better uh, the industry and kind of the struggles of getting in and why a lot of times when you ask questions, the answer is not as simple as you think it should be. All right, so just to start off here, there are basically multiple coliseums. So a gladiator fights in a coliseum. Um, to be a gladiator, you want to get into the coliseum and you want to be able to, you know, prove yourself. You want to be able to fight basically in the coliseum. Now, quantitative finance is not like fighting. It's not violent. It's just an analogy here we're going to draw. Um, but a lot of times people are standing on the outside and they're looking up at one coliseum saying, I want to be in this coliseum. It's quantitative finance. But realistically, what they're saying is, I want to do investment banking. I want to do mergers and acquisitions. Um, I want to do like analysis on implementing strategies for credit portfolios. You're looking at the wrong Coliseum. You need to move over to the other Coliseum, which is going to be the traditional finance Coliseum. It is not going to be the quantitative finance Coliseum. Yes, there are some ties occasionally between the two Coliseums, but at the end of the day, they're significantly different. So getting into one is going to be very, very different to getting into the other one. When you look at the Colosseum from the outside, you see there's lots and lots of these like archways. Each one of these archways can be viewed as an entry into the Colosseum. These entryways are basically like corporations that are willing to hire you to do quantitative finance. Every single entry is going to be different. So to get into the Colosseum, you need a ticket of some sort. And these tickets are going to be your education, the minimum requirements. So to get into the Coliseum, you're going to need a master's at minimum, if not a PhD, to get into the Coliseum. So you have to create this ticket. And once you create the ticket, which might be, say, an undergraduate degree from Washington State University, a master's degree from, you know, University of Michigan... And then you have to think about the degree. So you have a master's in financial engineering, a master's in applied economics, a master's in statistics, or better yet, a PhD in these fields. But at the end of the day, you have to create some sort of ticket. And once you create your academic ticket, you have to go to each one of these entryways and try to apply to get into that entryway. So this is like applying for jobs. You're going to apply for the job. You're going to show your ticket, which is your skills, your education, and you're going to see if they let you into the arena. And so you might apply to 10, 20, 100, 200, 300 different entries in a way to get into this Coliseum. But at the end of the day, you have to create this ticket and nobody is going to tell you which ticket you need to get in which door. The reason being is there's so many different variations of academic education, work experience. It's hard to say like if you do X, Y, and Z, we will guarantee to hire you. So getting the ticket, creating your own ticket, getting through that first gate is the hardest part in a lot of ways. But once you get into the Coliseum, there's still a lot of hurdles to get through. So after you get into the Coliseum, you start looking around and realizing there's different sub like arenas inside of this Coliseum. So you look and you see risk management in the banking sector. You see risk management in the investment side. Um, you see trading as an arena. You see, you know, quantitative research as an arena, you see different types of like hedge funds, investment banks, you know, all these different areas that you don't really know what you're going to work into. And so depending which door you get through, right on the outside, once you get the admission through the Coliseum, you might end up in a different arena than you originally wanted to or that you thought you're going to end up. And so getting a ticket basically through that Coliseum door a lot of times will determine which arena you're going to work in, which arena you're going to participate in. And so getting into that point is only the beginning of your career. You've just stepped into the Coliseum, right? You've just stepped into a specific type of arena. But inside of each arena is still different levels, different competencies, different abilities. And this is where kind of the fighting part of being a gladiator comes in, is that a lot of people will go out, you know, they create the ticket essentially by getting this education, this minimum requirement to step into the arena or the Coliseum and the arena, right? They get inside and then they're like in say risk management, for example, and they'll stand there and they go, I like being here, but I don't really want to push the envelope, right? I don't want to tell people they're wrong. I don't want to fight with other quants in a way of like academic competition and creating better models, more efficiency, you know, being this 
standout elite quant. So you end up with this uh, coliseum that's full of, you know, thousands and thousands of gladiators. But at the end of the day, these gladiators are essentially going to fight through academic papers and research and work abilities. And so the vast majority of people that make it into the arena and into the coliseum, they're going to be standing there on the sidelines just doing the bare minimum. And so people say, oh, that was my goal. I got into the Coliseum. I got into the arena I wanted to get into. And now I'm here. I'm happy. I'm settled. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with getting into, you know, the area you want to be in and to basically just do the job that you're expected to do. But in the quant realm, it just as any job, there's this elite class of people, people that are just, they seem like they're above everybody else. And I think this is where people miss it. When you have gladiators, right, in an arena, they fight to the death, essentially, or at least in some scenarios, but one gladiator wins and one gladiator loses. To be a really good gladiator, you can't just show up with a ticket, walk in, and be the best. Gladiators have to train, and they have to exercise their muscles, right, their skills, their abilities. They have to train to be better and better and better. So to be like the greatest gladiator in your arena, or even to be within like a specific group of gladiators, you have to train physically to get to that point. For quants and people in the quantitative finance realm, right, getting into the arena, getting into the coliseums and just standing there, you're just a generic quant. But to be the best, to be very productive, to be, you know, elite, you have to do all this training, you have to do all this, you know, education and academic self-learning. You have to go out and read papers. You have to apply this to different models. Um, you have to continue to self-train as you go. No one's going to push you. No one is going to tell you, you know, you need to do X, Y, and Z. And so I think this is kind of the take home of this whole video is getting through those doors, getting into the Coliseum, getting into the arena is an accomplishment in itself, right? But if you want to get better and better and better and you want to be smarter, you can't rely on what you learned in your education. You have to take that. You have to train yourself. You have to apply it. You have to go above and beyond. And so that's why a lot of times I mention being a quant is not something you reach, right? I'm not just a quant because I've made it through the Coliseum into the arena I want to be in. Being a quant is about continually learning. There's always more to learn, more to do, right? You have to drive yourself to be the best gladiator in the arena and in the Coliseum. And this is where a lot of people fail. They start seeing like, well, Dimitri, I'm really bright. I have this ticket, right? I got into the Coliseum. I have great education. And yet at the end of the day, they find themselves bored. They're burned out. They're not doing what they want to do. They're in the wrong arena. So switching arenas is hard, right? Going from like risk management at a traditional bank to going into a hedge fund, doing quantitative research. It takes different skills. It takes different abilities, and so it's not impossible to move from arena to arena or even to go out of the Coliseum and go into a different Coliseum. But at the end of the day, you need to train yourself. You need to drive yourself. You need to put in the work. And I think this is where people mistakenly think, if I get the education, I'll get in. Or like, I don't want to do the education. I don't want, I don't, I don't have the money, right? I don't have the money, the funds to get in. That's fine. But there's all these other people standing in line trying to get into that arena that have went out and created these really high-end tickets with great academic rigor and backgrounds, and they're standing in line trying these doors. You cannot expect a corporation, who's basically like the gatekeeper, to hire you without the bare minimum ticket. You have to do the work to get into the arena, the coliseums, and then once you get in, guys, it's not an easy task. Being a quant isn't like this, I'm in the arena, you know, and I'm just kind of floating around, and life's great and wonderful. You have to fight for being in that position, you have to make things better. You have to self-educate yourself. If you do not, you will fall behind. You will lose skills. You might always be in the arena, but you're not going to be the top gladiator. And I think that's where a lot of quants find this happiness, this bliss in a career is in that self-learning and in like that, that challenge, the journey to becoming like the best gladiator, right? We're not going to be in the arena and satisfied just sitting on the sidelines watching everybody else train and work and fight to be the best. So that's kind of my analogy between being a gladiator and being a quant. I hope you guys take away like the different levels, the thresholds, the barriers that prevent you from getting in and how like it's not a one-way path. A lot of people end up with different tickets through different routes, but we're all ending up in the same arenas with inside of this Coliseum. Being able to be there, being able to be the best takes a lot of work above and beyond your education.
So if you don't love quantitative finance, don't waste your time, don't waste your money. It's not gonna be as easy and high paying and like this relaxed environment as you think. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.